Okay, I made some progress. All of the shower floor is gone. It was uh, that, boy, that Milwaukee hammer did a fantastic job. Took probably about two, three hours to get it all out and get it in buckets and get it out of here. So now the next step is, in this particular job, I have to relocate the shower drain. All right, it's probably going to be the hardest part of the entire bath remodel. And the reason why is, is now I'm going to have to chip into the concrete floor here. Well, if you've got a normal basement in most homes in America, no big deal. Guess what? Here at my house, I've got radiant heating pipes underneath the concrete. And if you punch a hole in one of those things, you've got big problems. So, I'm lucky and I've got one of these wonderful little FLIR, F-L-I-R, thermal imaging cameras that attaches to a smartphone. And we turned the heat on and I let it run for about an hour in the floor so that the hot water would start to heat up the concrete. And oh my gosh, you know what it did? It showed us exactly where the radiant heating pipes are and I've got two pipes, one on either side of this floor drain and one is really, really close. So I know that I have to be really careful when I'm taking and getting that hammer drill down close to the bottom of the concrete because the way that they install these is they just lay the pipes on the ground and then they pour the concrete over it. They're not embedded really in the concrete. I just want to remind you Remember, before you start tearing into a concrete slab, think about what might be in there. We have all kinds of great technology available to us that allow you to see into the concrete. You can even see where steel rebar is. So don't just start tearing into the concrete because all sorts of bad things can happen. Think about it. Think about, you know, where are your heating system? Where are your radiant heating pipes if you have that? You just don't want to break into them. I'm Tim Carter for AskTheBuilder.com. If you want to discover more home improvement tips, go to AskTheBuilder.com.